Well, there's five minutes left. Five minutes on the clock. At the end of the three hours. And then the flag will go out. The first one past the flag is, is not necessarily the winner of their class. Pleased to say that Jamie Rope is here today. One handed, by the way. But uh, he's still alive and breathing. Gavin Potter's had his hip operation last night. Here comes Jamie, comes Jason Borland. Oh, it can Greg Roper, he knows he's got another lap. We're about two minutes to go and they're looking at the clock. They're asking if one rider's coming, I missed him. Another came in, I sent him out. Because it won't get, if I don't do the check and flow, they won't be going to the finish. It's coming up to a minute to go. One minute to go on my uh, ever right clock watch, I should say. No, they should, if, if they want to do it, they should wait. Well, they've got extra lap in. There might be a difference of two or three places for them. Might even be points. Oh, the wind's got up here now. Sun's gone behind the clouds. So we're coming up about 30 seconds to go. See, two more, two more just come in. They won't be classed as a finish and they won't be happy about that. But they don't, know, don't read the regulations. There he's finished. 62 is the first one in. 62. 51 there. Number eight. He's the first clubman in. Sam Mitchell. Number 30. That's number 24. Here come Michael Ridge. I would think he's won the expert session class today. Number 72 then. We're just waiting now for a few riders so I can probably recognise. 61 come in. Someone coming a bit fast and um, another one's coming a bit fast so it might be a bit close here. 58. He's finished, he's in. Thank God I've finished. That's Ben Roper. There's a lot coming in now. Graham Race has finished. Number 10 of the championship right? That's Harry Clark finished. 19, Gavin Hockey's finished. Looks like he's in second place today. Jack Berry is number 19. Probably take about another 10 minutes or more. Oh, he slid off then. 26, Phil Roper. He's coming out of it. I think this could be Jason Morland. He, he, I'm sure he's going to win the championship title today. Yes, here he comes, Jason. I see he fell off then. He's registered, he's finished. Another championship run, number nine. He's probably a lap or two behind Jason. Probably a lap. Ben Marsh shaking his head at me then, 43. 
Hey, oh, Alan, your boy's there, he's been mentioned. Just got on time, Miles Saunders has just turned up. He may, he may have won the expert class today. Well, positions may change, so Kevin Palmer was catching him, I'm sure. And Brendan Barris is off, he's done and off. He come too quick. That's Brendan Myers, he's pushing his bike up there. Number 14, Brendan Myers. A nice off there. The number 7 just come in, the number 15. And this is Ryan McDonald. Ryan McDonald in at the third expert. And it comes, there we go. Joe Phillips has finished his first adult race. Now I've got to go and interview him now. Gray Rope has finished. This is 15 year old. Joe Phillips, who has ridden today his first adult event. This is at Fox Macquarie, Super Headingham, riding for the Surrey Motorcycle Club and riding in an Eastern Centre or ACU Eastern Solo Enduro Championship club and class. Now, I've got some questions for young Joe. <coughs> right, how, how excited are you to be riding in an adult class today? It was, it was very exciting today. It was one of my first proper adult enduros. I done one yes uh, last week, but this is nothing harder than this. It was so hard and hot. Yeah. Good. Why? Why did you choose to ride today, adult, <coughs> where you could have ridden in the uh, youth club youth event today? Well, I the... wanted to ride both today, but he went. Uh, Gavin let me ride both. So I decided I wanted to ride the adult because it was longer time with mine. Good, good. Because I think you've been itching to ride this, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, when did you start riding? I started riding when I was four on a PW50. And uh, last year I started racing on that bike that I rode today. Uh, I was runner-up in Enduro Land Series and I won the Chilton Hills Youth Championship. Well done, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Who, who are your fellow riders and how do you get on with them? Um, the, my main fellow riders are Jake Roper, Will Belton, Archie Gunton, Max Day, Georgia Potter. We all ride together usually at Ch Chilton Hills and Practices. Any female ones? Georgia Potter. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you get on all okay? Yeah. We get on all right. fine. <laughs> now who would you like to thank for your help and, and that? Um, who, got you where you are today? Uh, I'd like to thank my mum and dad mainly because my dad's always sorting out my bike for me, my mum's sorting out my kit after I ride. I would also like to thank GH Motorcycles for sorting out tyres for me when I need them. Good, good, good. And of course you ride for a good club? A good club. What's, it, what's the name of the club you ride for? Uh, Chilton Hills. No, there's another one you rode today. You had to join oh, a club. Oh, the Suffer Club. Thank you. Right, um, just one little mention. Yeah. You've got a famous granddad. I do. Now, people wondered, who is your, fa your famous granddad? Well, we will go back to about... He used to play football for Ipswich Town Football Club. Yeah. And uh, I think he was a striker, they call now, alongside so. Ray Crawford. And the manager was Alf Ramsey. Yeah. The only Englishman who's won the World Cup for England on the 30th of July 1966. Yes. And um, now, what is his name? Ted Phillips. Phil Ted Phillips. Yeah. You see? And also he got interested in the motocross after he retired, didn't he? Yeah, he was quite interested in the sport. He, every year he'd go down to Farley Castle to watch the World Race Cross. He got on well with Dave Thorpe and people like that. Yeah, well done. So, you're going to be famous in this field as he is famous in the football field. Yeah, All right. I hope well, so. Good luck and uh, thank you, Joe, and uh, many more successes. Thank you for your time.